Yeah, we do want to check in with Sharkey County, Mississippi, uh, there where Rolling Forks is okay. located. Uh, just one area that's been hit so hard. The county's public information officer, Jordan Hartshorn, joins us this morning. Um, first of all, we just want to send our heartfelt condolences to you and your community. We have never walked in your shoes, and we are so sorry for what you are going through. Please know that here at Fox Weather, we're committed to walking with you and helping your community. How are things going this morning? And, and it almost feels hard to even say oh, those yeah. words because obviously they're not going well. But where do you sit this morning in the process of what you've been through? Uh, so right now we're in the response phase. Um, we are actually fixing to go into an operational meeting and start back uh, search and rescue. Um, it's, you know, it's kind of like ground zero here and other places. And we have a lot of people that come back to their homes gone. We had people that were in their homes while it hit, um, as you've been seeing some of the stories that are happening here uh, within the lo um, local community. It's, it's just, I mean, like I said, I don't really have choice of words to say because it, it happened. And, you know, you, there is 13 casualties within just mm -hmm. the city. Um, and the county and it's it's just everyday occurrence where the next couple of days is recovery we're going to be a long time recovering over here in uh, Fort Carroll. Jordan I did want to ask you um, because you said that you're going to pick up search and rescue is there still concern that you have residents that are not accounted for? So at this time we haven't had reports of missing people but you got to think that people are going to start coming back in asking about where their loved ones are and they haven't got in touch so those calls will probably possibly be coming in for the search and rescue teams to go uh, look for those people but currently we don't have any missing people um, there is a chance you know as we go into removing the debris and stuff we'll find other things that we really don't want to see jordan it's such a tough time right now is there anything specific that you need if people are watching say hey how can we help out uh, I, I obviously you need help cleaning things up but is it time for people to come and help you or do you need space at this point uh, so the county is actually asking for a little bit of more time let the residents come in let them go through their their belongings um, we had a major response of volunteers and donations yesterday. It kind of caused logistical problems. So we're asking, do not self-deploy. Contact the county EOC. Contact your local law enforcement or your churches that are locally and let them handle the situation right now. Uh, we're also kind of like at capacity with donations and stuff. So please just hold off, wait for the residents to come in and let go through their personal stuff before you start responding. It's, it, let the first responders do their jobs for right now. But we we... we like everybody to come out and help eventually but right now is not the time and there will be plenty of time for rebuilding and, and the last thing you want to do is have an influx of people right. that have great hearts but quite honestly make the situation worse just because it's so raw right now mm -hmm. um, with the weather that's in the forecast most of the severe weather that's been occurring this morning is south of the area it you know your specific area has been warned six times for the potential of tornadoes. And then this one time is the time that happened. So when you're looking at the fact that we're going into April and May, you know, is that even on the radar that there could be more concerns down the road? Or is it really just right now you guys are just really in the thick of what occurred? Well, if you have uh, been watching the weather, there's possible uh, bad weather coming in around two between two and four today in our county. And it's possible tornadoes again. And, you know, there is a possibility that a tornado could go through this weather that's going to hit later on today. So we're st we're always on standby and ready to re respond and provide that service that this county at the county level and with having the state's help and the governor's help. And hopefully uh, we got the president's help. We can get these resources and temporary homes back up. But, you know, with the weather, it's a never ending story. Well, Jordan, we appreciate your time. Uh, as Britta said, you know, we've never walked in your shoes, but we're with you every step of the way here at Fox Weather. And uh, we're thinking about you all and hoping for the very best. And it's just one day at a time and trying to find some sense of normalcy. And I know that's going to be hard, but just taking it one step at a time. And thanks for your time. Thank you for having me. I'm Amy Freeze. Welcome to Fox Weather's YouTube page. We have more great videos on the way. So make sure to subscribe to stay updated on all things weather.